So today we're talking about Sublime, which is a Spanish queer coming of age drama starring Mark Ann Miller. Sean Vickers is here. My name is Phil Marriott. Thank you very much for watching. And if just lolling about what a surprise here we are talking about a gay coming of age story. At Flair, I always watch all the shorts and the shorts generally seem to always be coming of age stories. And you watch I'm not going to be damning, but less of the shorts. And so, yeah, here's a coming of age story. I don't watch <laughs> enough shorts. I should do, I should try harder. I must do better next year. year. I'm going to, every year, Sean shorts, do every year. You're always like, I haven't seen any of them, Sean. What do you think? <laughs> so it's set in Argentina of all places. Everyone needs a coming of age story. It follows uh, Manuel, who lives in a small town. He is kind of... Um, bit of a kooky indie kid, plays bass in a band, and it really follows his story around his exploration of his own sexuality at a certain age. Felipe, who is another member of his band, who um, he kind of falls in love with um, as his first true love. And I think I read somewhere about this film where someone said, oh, it really gives you faith in the younger generation. And I was like, I kind of get that, actually. Yeah. Um, I thought it was, yeah, we'll get into it, but I just thought yeah it was done in a very nice way. I have got some criticisms about it, but yeah, it's, it, I'll start there, which is it's it's um, Argentinian come of age story. So let's talk about the music festival because there's a lot of footage of Manuel's band. Kind of new wave, like you say, he's a bit of an indie kid. And I was getting the jam and the cure vibes because there's one song that they rehearse and it seems to be over and over. You're pretty, mm -hmm. there, pretty much there mm -hmm. in the rehearsals, all of them, um, before they mm -hmm. play the song at the end in full. Um, but it was like Boys Don't Cry. It was the it was the same riff as Boys Don't Cry. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, Robert Smith, Smith is going to be there, you know, <laughs> filing his lawsuit. But I thought the music was great in this and it felt very genuine. It felt like these were proper indie kids. It wasn't just like fake wannabes. It felt it felt really authentic to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, I like that. I mean, I, that's part of my journey through music, you know. Um, as I think about me doing my GCSEs, A-levels and the start of university, I was very much that indie kid. So I can yeah. relate to that kind of, like, I can relate to it. And you're right, there are, I'm going to say, a lot of um, sessions where they're practicing as a band, much, I think, to its detriment. Um, but um, they are cute. I think the bands are cute and it feels real. Um, I did feel that we got the full rehearsal about 10 yeah. times in that movie yeah which you know what i'm gonna say phil <laughs> i'm gonna cut that out 20 minutes <laughs> i'm gonna go beyond that i don't i think you could cut more than 20 minutes i think this would make an amazing short i i don't think it has the depth to hold itself as a feature i you could say take 20 minutes out and i could tell you where to cut that 20 minutes out immediately because all of those demo sessions do not need to be the whole song over and over again i think i'm going to respectfully disagree with you good good for you if that's all right with you because yeah. i kind of liked that we were there and we were present during the rehearsals because it very much felt like we were watching progress yeah you probably could have snipped some of it out because i did think okay, this is a little bit annoying that we're hearing these songs again. It felt like it was a bit relentless. Like it was going round and round and round. But then I thought about that and I thought, well, I kind of like it because it does feel like we're there during the moment. And it very much felt like it was a bit fly on the wall, like it was almost improvised in a way. I don't I don't know whether it was. I don't think it was because it, it felt, you know, I think it was scripted. But I kind of like that. It made, it made the experience feel a bit more believable. Mm, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I think what I think what's interesting is how that band setup is used as a device to demonstrate Manuel's growing lust and love for Felipe. Also, I think it's, it's used in a clever way when Manuel basically writes a song and the band pick it up. And when you listen to the lyrics, he really is talking about Felipe. I think that bit is cute. Don't come for me. I think that's actually really cute. There's a lot of it which I think is filler in the band section, don't at me or at me, that I don't buy into. I like the interplay with his girl, girlfriend and ex-girlfriend Azul. I like how that worked. I like how he had allies in his group that were very nonplussed. And he, you know, his father at some point was like, it's okay to have feelings. Oh, like, his father was, was so adorable. 
Paul was so adorable. Like, so for me, I go back to that, the thing I started with, which is I do think it gives hope and faith for this younger generation who were just like, okay, that's who you are. How do we support that? What do we do? It's not this big, like his coming out was a bit like a, it wasn't some big, the doors fly off the closet and off the hinges. It was just more of a, this is who I think I am. And everyone was like, cool, let's, let, you should explore that. And I thought it was lovely. But when you think about the story, I think that's probably why it wasn't this big explosion. Because mm. there's a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of anguish and a lot of sadness in this. And I think it accurately portrays, you know, young people, young queer people going through those emotions. Of course. But it is accurate in a way because many people in their teenagers, when they're teenagers, fall in love and have unrequited love. They fall in love with someone that they can't have. That's them going through, you know, growing and maturing and, you know, a whole bunch of things happening, both physically, mentally, spiritually, to that individual. So I think you get that in the film. As I say, you can go two ways with this, right? We could have watched that as a short and gone, I wanted more which we have done in many in many short films we've watched, well, I have watched, you have watched some. And then on the other side, there is, it's a feature. And actually, if you, if you did a hard edit, would you just have this kind of perfect short movie that really encapsulates it? And I'm talking about 25, 30 minutes, but actually has greater impact than I think this film has, because I do feel it's a bit long, but views are my own, and I think most things are a bit long. So there you go. It's funny you mentioned the girls, because every time the girls kept coming into frame, like part of that storyline, and it's, you know, obviously a, a storyline that we all know, um, I, especially when you think about, you know, experiences with this, you know, opposite sex and isn't necessarily your thing, but the girls kept coming coming into frame, and I was just like, I was frustrated, because I kept, I kept wanting to them to go, which is awful, because the girls are brilliant. But as part of his, you know, his story, I didn't want them there because I wanted him to concentrate on Felipe. And obviously, you know, there's some of this story that we can't talk about. But I, yeah, I, I, I kind of felt that frustration like he did. One thing I would call out is I, they're not professionally trained actors. So I, I will give them the benefit of the doubt. And that might be why you get a lot of band filler <laughs> because they are probably kids, musicians, whatever. So... They're not professionally trained, and because of that, I think they do a really fantastic job. You know, I do think you get a rawness to the story. You know, there's the bits where Manuel kind of fantasizes the about dream sequences, yeah, dream sequences, which I also really like because that's something that happens when you're a teenager. Do you think about these scenarios that could that happen? Would that happen? And I like that too. So I generally think a lot of it is really i'm going back to it, really good i think they've laid in a whole bunch of great stuff my gripe personal gripe i would give myself is the band stuff i think it had the potential to be a four star short and i think it was a three star long play oh okay i'm going for four i thought it was really endearing i thought it was really well played out the rehearsals, I think, were part of that journey, so they didn't bother me that much, but I think we could have heard different songs, perhaps, as part of that footage, because I quite like seeing them all jam, and it did feel like, I'm guessing, they were real musicians. Did you watch X Factor? Mm, on and off, not much. There was once these two teenage girls that came on, and every week they'd sing the same Stormzy song, <laughs> and at some point you'd be like, Oh, here they are again to sing that same Stormzy song. I'm just going to apply that to this film. <laughs> so, yes. Um, didn't bother me as much, but I wanted more songs. Because I liked them. I liked the music. Which I think is Do you know fair. what? They were a tight band. They were a tight band. They're quite yeah. a bop. Yeah. Not, there's no shit being thrown there. They're quite... I, I like them. I'd buy know? their album. Yeah. So if, <laughs> I, I quite like Boys Don't Cry anyway. It wasn't Boys Don't yeah, Cry, but yeah, yeah, it yeah. did sound yeah. like Boys Don't Cry. Anyway, that's my, my gripe out of the way. But yeah, Sublime, it's on DVD and on demand uh, from the 6th of February. It's a Pe Peccadillo Pictures title, which mm. we've reviewed a lot of quite a well, lot in the past. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching, as always. Thank you, Sean. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you liked this, by the way, we've got another review on the screen now, which you'll probably like as well. So go over there and watch it. Dish it told. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs>